What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another video, and in today's video, we got Brett here joining us. Say hi, Brett. Hello. Alright, we are back here on the Appalachian um, logging, Appalachian Mountain logging map. Uh, you guys might have seen this video before, I hauled up a bunch of equipment up to the top of the mountain, or at least the top of that plateau over there. Um, but in today's video, we are going to be bringing up the remaining of our equipment. It's mainly just chipping equipment and some lights so we can see. Uh, and then we're also going to start... Uh, start chipping and we will run a little bit of logs just to see how the new auto loading log uh logger works because i have not been able to use that one before having some trouble here yeah a little bit i zoomed really far out and then i backed it up like pretty slowly and it managed to work so these it's pretty crazy that these atvs can move these giant machines <laughs> oh looks like you're going good straighten it out how did I get this one on? Is this one wider than that one? No, no, they're the same. Alright, it looks good from here. I think you got it. Oh, yeah. Alright, keep going. Keep going. About there. Alright, detach it. All right, all right. So you want to hop in the uh, red Mac and follow me up? Right once you get that attached. So once we bring these up here, we'll tab back and we'll grab the ATVs and we will snag the construction lights and then we'll be ready to go. And we can finally get to some logging on the second episode. Finally. All right. I'm pulling out here and then be careful on some of these turns the uh, trailers can tip sometimes All right, I'm gonna get heading out Say wait when you came up here, did you take the uh, curvy road? I might have <laughs> Yeah, it's that's what I usually take. It's just a little it's a little bit more diff. Oh, whoa. Yeah, my uh Okay my uh my, my chipper's coming off here yep oh and chipper's gone all right okay note to self uh probably don't go over like 30 miles an hour oh dang it all right i want to tab back and grab an atv and use an atv to get my chipper loaded back on so yeah the curve right when i hit the curve up there it just instantly flew off because i was going like 55 so Try not to go in 55, and hopefully you'll be able to make it fine. I think I can see you, actually. Yep, you're coming up on me. All right. Oh, that was a pain in the butt to load, too. All right. So, yeah, you make your way up there, and then come back, grab your trailer. Hopefully, I'll be caught up with you by then. And then we do have some Lambo Mod construction light trailers here, if that you guys can see. These are the sheathed ones. So they got like protection on the side and stuff like that, like just in case like any logs like go flying or anything or or any whatever military purposes anybody wants to use these for. Pretty uh, pretty dual purpose lights. So yeah, if you guys look at this, so right when you attach up the trailer, the trailer is like a foot higher than the ATV, but it still attaches. So it's pretty funny that it actually works, and the fact that this huge, huge, huge trailer. This huge chipper that's probably a couple thousand pounds at least can uh, be pulled by this <laughs> probably not even one liter horsepower ATV. All right. There we go. Say, Brett, how good are you with the Scorpion King? You uh, know? Pretty good at it. <laughs> pretty good? Okay, good. I am decent. I'm not the greatest, though. Have you ever used the uh, the buffalo that they have in this? We have, you have to use like the claw, it's like a claw machine to grab it. I I can't stand that machine. I'm absolute. I'm awful with it. It's yeah. I don't know. It's way too hard, and I always like always like grab too hard, or I'll, it'll just like send the log flying for no reason. All right, I got my guy lo loaded back up. I'm making my way up. Did you make it up fine? Yeah, I'm making up good right now. All right. Is your Mac making weird sounds? Yeah. Like weird, like engine grindy sounds. I wasn't sure why, but mine makes that too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the air brake. 
Oh, it is. Okay, okay, yeah, because it only happens when you break. Oh, I didn't realize that. Ooh. That's actually really cool. I didn't think I didn't think that they'd have that. All right, you there? Oh, you're almost there. Oh, you went the wrong way. All right, you know you're going the right way. Uh, there's a little trail. If you look at your map, there's like a little like a little brown mark. Uh, and that's like a little trail that you can take to save some time. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, dude, I lost it again. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. I'm just going too fast. That's what it is. All right, tap back over to my ATV. All right, gonna grab this light while I'm down here. I could probably have finished this by now. Oh man, all right. I'm making my way back up. All right. And then once you get your stuff there, which it looks like you're there, uh, just tap back, grab your ATV, and see if you can beat me up. Because you're probably going to make it there before me. And then uh, I'm not sure what side we wanted to start logging on first. I was going to try and shoot for a side that's a little bit more flat. But as you can see, I'm not really sure if there's any flat sides on this area. Um, so basically, just, let's, we'll, we'll choose the flattest area we can because we don't want to be driving up too steep of inclines because I think some of our equipment, I know the Scorpion Kings can, but I know the uh, the case uh, 1150 with a winch, I don't think that deals with inclines very well. It's pretty pretty slow. I don't think I could have, I couldn't have driven up the side of this mountain with it either because it's just too slow. All right. Let's see if I can do this again. Oh, dude, I don't know if I can get up a... Okay, no, I can do it. Wow. Nope, no, I can't. I can't make it up this incline. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to make it up this incline with this. Oh, dude. Do we have anything else with a hitch? Does the Mac, do the Macs have hitches on them? I don't know. Doesn't so. look like it. All right, uh... I think we might abandon this one chipper then for a, a hot minute because I don't know how I'm going to be able to get it up here because it's on the incline now. Yep. So it's kind of stuck. Oh, wow. Well, I'm having I'm having a hard time here. All right. I'm just going to grab my construction light trailer and go up right now. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, like, there's like no way I can get up that incline. If I would have dropped it like where we are now, I don't think it would have been too bad, but, uh, I didn't, so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I think I might have to. I might have to get a stronger truck or just reset it and go all the way back. But I really don't want to do that. I just get a stronger truck and pull it up. Yeah, I wonder if the stock lizard in this game can do it. Good try. Cause I know those extra trucks that I have, the uh, Ford F450, isn't too great. Oh yeah, see, yeah, this is the trail I was talking about. Oh yeah, I see. And then, yeah. All right, so yeah, we'll just unload. We'll just unload that chipper. I, I, did you know that you can actually hop in these chippers and drive them? Uh, yeah, I guess yeah, so. Dude, it's, it's really weird. Um, you want to hop in this one and see if you can drive it off this trailer? Mm. And then I think we'll go chipper to conveyor belt. And then, uh, so we'll stick with one for now. Will it drive off? Oh, no, nope, it's stuck. Yeah, okay, never mind. There goes that idea. All right, I'll pull it off real quick. If I can even attach to it. Oh, wow. That thing dropped so far. And... Good, there we go. Uh, I'll pull it over here. So, yeah, we're going to... I guess we'll go off this edge right here. Oh, get a little. We'll go off this edge right here because it's a little bit of a not as a steep of a slant. Uh, okay, so it pipes out that way. Yep. Dang. Okay, let me let me, let me redo this. Set it back up. Can you move it at all? No. 
Probably too, much, not. too much of an incline for it or something. Okay, there's a good setup. Can you unload it, though? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll move. I know you can move these conveyor belts. Yep. So I'll hop in these. Uh, can you lower it a little bit? Uh, I think you do the mouse button. And you should be able to lower the whole conveyor belt down. Uh, there we go. Oh, whoa. All right, yeah, because if you lower, you get it the farther it'll reach. So hopefully it should be reaching there. And then I'll use this other conveyor belt for the other chipper when we get it here. I'll just set it off here to the side. Uh, do you have a chainsaw? I think you should have a steel chainsaw. Yes, I do. All right, good, 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 good. All right, let's set up these lights really quick. Um, right. Let's set up a light on the right side and the left side of the chipper shining down. And these lights are pretty powerful too, so I don't think we'll need too many more. Let's see, turn this trailer on. Oh yeah, you wanna <laughs> Yeah, you wanna bring it up, otherwise the forks will stab in the ground and drag you everywhere. There we go. Alright, set this equipment off to the side. Alright, now we got lights. We got our equipment. Alright, let's start it. So you want to hop in the Scorpion King first and pull over some logs? Sure. Um, you know how you uh, like set it over this chipper and then you just hit X and it just slowly chops it into there, right? All right, so you can do that. And then I'm going to go chop just a bunch of these down. And uh, or actually, no, here. You just chop a bunch down right now uh, by hand, and I'll show you how to use the winch really quick because this winch is really, really cool. Okay. So, do this guy right here. So, anytime you're like by the side of it on your uh, little like F1 menu, it'll like it just says remaining rope, and you have like a distance where you can attach it to fallen logs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sometimes it'll say object too heavy, but you can just uh, B and it just attaches. You see that rope come out of it? And then you can attach it up to multiple objects. You can pull a bunch at once. Um, but yeah, then you just hop in it and you just... Okay, I guess we're a little stuck now. Oh, did I get stuck in between? Okay, yeah, we're going to chop this guy right here in half. And then do you want to actually cut the branches off this too? Yep, sure. All right. Did I lose my... Oh, yeah, it did disconnect. All right. Um, B, run over here, hit B on this one. So now I should pull both of these through. Okay, I pulled one through. <laughs> Whatever, that works. So that's pretty much how that works. And then once you get over here, you just hit X, detaches rope. I should detach it. Hold on. It's not detaching. Oh, no. Uh,. Release. Uh, left shift B. There we go. Okay, so left shift B does it. All right, do you want to uh, walk up behind me and then take the winch and attach it to the bottom of that tree you just cut down? So, like, do you see? Does it just say uh, rope remaining? I think so. Oh, and then okay. just say B on it. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, it actually worked really good. You know, that's, that's what you can do. You can just pull giant logs away. And we'll see if we can load these logs. We might chop these up a little bit. Because um, we'll, we'll try and do the auto loader first. So, probably going to have to chop these. Well, these are actually really tall. I didn't realize how tall these were. So, we're probably going to chop these into 
thirds. All right. All right, so we'll chop it up into thirds real quick. Uh, you get that end, I'll get this end. All right, there's my half. Oh, that probably just messed you up. Where did mine chop at? Oh, way up here. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. Chop it into like one giant. Like, chop it in half, like right here. Like, three pieces total for the entire thing. All right. And then, uh, chop right here. And then we'll see if we can load these up real quick. And then I'll use the, I think it's the F4. Yeah, the F450. I'll use the brown one. Oh, whoa, what the heck? I'll oh, keep storming the ATV. All right, there we go. I'll use this guy and then this Fiegel auto load trailer. I'm not sure how it works. I think you might just drive up to the side of it and it just automatically connects. That's what the hope is at least. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. And so yeah, what we tried to do one time with the uh, with that winch, we tried to use the uh, winch because uh, the squad he fell off the side of a mountain. Yeah. Um, and we tried to use a winch to pull him back up, and it it worked for like a second. It started pulling him, and then uh, just got way too heavy, and then just dropped everything. All right, so we'll see how we'll see how this guy works. I'm not sure how this one, how this auto load trailer works. Oh yeah. She said B to start auto load. I actually watched that video of that happening. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty tragic. It's uh, pretty tragic in my opinion. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so you gotta select yeah, the six, dude. That is slick. Part. That's super nice. So you gotta select the side that you want it to pick up. Um, so right now it's on the right side, so it's only picking up logs from the right side. See if I can get this big one. Maybe it doesn't pick up smaller ones. Maybe not. Oh no, it's because the auto load shut off. That's why. Um. Oh. Oh no, it started unloading them. Okay. Redo that. This one's a little tricky. Okay. So there you go. Auto load. It only picks up certain logs for some reason. Maybe I need to make another pass. Ooh, maybe I c actually I probably can't pick up that that whole one. All right, maybe if I cut this guy in half, maybe it's too heavy. And then to detach your rope, you got to be inside the cabin, and then you got to hit uh, left shift B works every time. So that's what I use. Because it says X uses the release rope, but sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, we're on the wrong side. That's why. Okay, so left side, start auto load. Okay, sweet. It worked. I wonder if I can back it up and make it work. All right, so I think we're going to have to just... Okay, so let's just pull up all of our logs right up to the side of here. And it should work a little bit better is what I'm thinking. So we can just like so if we set them all up to the side, we should just be able to uh, hop in the truck, hit auto load, and have it be done. Oh, yep. Right. See, so yeah. And then length is playing an issue in them too. So if it's too long, it won't load it. Does not just does not like this one. All right, maybe it'll load it in a minute. All right, so these smaller ones, I'm just gonna set up in the chipper for now. Snag these guys. Oh, chipper's on too. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? It started just pulling them in already. Oh, so I don't know if you ever saw, but when we had a, we used to have like a, like the squad had a dedicated uh, logging server. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you ever saw, but what would happen was like, we'd have like 16 people on it at one time. Um, just like at any time, a bunch of people would be on it and they would be able to like log out like this entire area in a matter of like minutes. 
uh, like probably like 20 minutes, not like five, but they'd like log the entire thing because everybody would be running. Like they'd have like somebody running uh, wood chips. They'd have like four people on Scorpion Kings. Then they just have a ton of people chipping and they would just run through like forests in like the matter of like 20 to 30 minutes and they'd finish an entire map in like six hours. And it was absolutely yep. insane. I did it once with them and it was pretty crazy when I did it because uh, like they used some coordination and everything. And I know that we were talking about doing another logging server again. Um, but yeah, it was, it's pretty crazy. So I don't know if you ever, ever had a chance to play on that. Uh oh, <laughs> don't hit that guy. Um, here, do you want to detach and then I'll reattach it? Yep. Oh, here, I think I can, I can detach it from here actually. So if you want to pull up to your right, oh, there you go. Now it's reattached. Oh, attached it. Okay, there you go. You got it. Yep. Here, you want me to cut it in half? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that'll probably help out a little bit. There we go. All right, now try that guy. See, see what better. See if he works a little bit better. All right. Oh, I got I got both of them attached now. Oh nope, just that one. All right. Oh, she's swinging everywhere. All right, here, let me. Okay, detached. Line yourself up. All right, there you go. You got the big one on there now, so you can pull him forward. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, stop right there. All right, then we'll detach it here, and then we'll chop it up in in half, and then I'll have you just push it uh, with the front, and you should be able to push it right into the zone. All right, drop them there. All right, that works pretty good. Do you want to see if you can cut the uh, skinnier one in half? Yeah. I... <laughs> and then once you do that, I'm just gonna push these closer into the uh, trailer. Then we'll test it and see if it'll auto load it. All right. All right. Okay. I'll see if this should this should take it. I feel like it will. Okay, it took one. All right. All right. I think this other one is too far up, so we got to scooch it down. So I think you have to like literally have it perfectly, otherwise it won't go. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. Yeah, well, you got it. Okay, so it had uh it had twigs on it, branches, so it wouldn't work. Yeah, I had to wait. I was kind of wondering. Oh, did that one just load in there too? It's actually a pretty big radius. Yeah, there we go. Now they're loading up. I wish you could use two people to pick up a log and pick up a really heavy one. Mm -hmm. All right, here, I'm gonna cut this one in half. Let's see if we can carry it. All right. Too heavy still? Yep. Dude, dang, okay. Um, I'm just gonna push it then. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe. Push it. Up oh, there it goes. Well, there's one. Whip it around here so you can get two. Oh. Yep. We'll take the small ones. Hmm. Doesn't look like it'll take the smaller ones. All right, I'm gonna chop these guys up then and throw them in the chipper. Can't even tell if that. Oh, that did split it. Just didn't make any marks with it. All right. Grab these guys. Oh, what the heck? And toss it up. There we go. 
All right, how many? Does it make it any wood chips yet? Oh, it's not outputting yet. That's why. Oh. Oh, here I'll fix it. I think it's just a matter of where the conveyor belts are. If you have the conveyor belts right, it should. It should output. Um. No, 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 no. Uh, start piping out on me. All right. Uh. That's weird. It's not pushing out. Hmm. Maybe I have to. Dude, I don't know. You know how this one works? Oh, I think you have to have a tipper sitting there. That's why. Oh, it's not good. Oh, dude, I was hoping it would just unload onto the ground. Oh, oh wait, no, I know it's. I don't think we have the right, uh, I swear this used to unload on the ground. Oh, wait here. Left control I. There we go. Try that. Then. Oh, there it comes. Oh, let's pick There these. you go. Hey, there we go. Like that. I'm trying to get it to unload. This one won't unload. All right, well, we got something going now. That's all that matters. All right, so yeah, we'll just make a big pile right here in the center then with all these, and then we'll grab the uh, one of the longer conveyor belts, and we'll pipe that into the back of like a uh, semi-truck or something so we can pull everything away. But I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, we finally got we got a little bit of logging going. We haven't sold anything yet, but we, ha we got this auto loader like halfway loaded, so that's a start. All we need to do, we need to get a few more people in here to get a bigger operation going basically is what I'm thinking. I think that would work a little bit better but anyway if you guys are enjoying this so far if you're enjoying this login series hit that like button let me know in the comments down below and i'll see everybody in the next farming simulator video